Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? I know I kind of stuck the new, the new logo and the channel name in there without you guys seeing, but uh, I'm sorry. Love it. Hopefully you guys do too. And for those of you that don't know the significance of the BMF and why it's been in my logos, that's my initials. So, you know. Now we're the BMF Garage. Cleaver BMF was because I ran cleavers for a long time. But I thought it was time for a change. I hope you guys like it. I'll have these up uh, up in our merch store on Teespring here pretty soon. But for now, I got a whole bunch of these to bring out Rocky Mountain Race Week to give out, sell, all that stuff. Pretty cool. I have some wiring to do for my launch control and my two-step on the car. So I've got this guy here. This is a printout from the ECU so I know what wires to land stuff on. You can see that over here on the left, all that stuff's for the EEC. That would be the ECU. And then there's some other stuff that's on. There's some other stuff on the expansion port. You can see that stuff there. So let me get to wiring. I just got a few things that I have to have to get done. But I also wanted to get my flex fuel sensor wired up so that we can use that. Well, that was fun. I just got called into work. So yeah, my time working on the car got cut in half or worse. We'll see. Let's get started on some wiring. So with this ECU, there are jumpers that you've got to put in here in order to enable certain features. So I added a jumper over here to enable one of my analog inputs so that I can bring my fuel pressure in. And I think that's all I need to do. There's another jumper here for table switching that I might use later, but we're going to leave that for now. Everything else looks good. And I also added my SD card in here, so that's cool. And here is my expansion port plug. That's where the other plug goes right there. What's up? Saturday now. We got the two-step wired in and working. Launch control is working. We tested that. Now we just need to leave on some boost. The boost controller seems like it's working now. I changed some of the settings on it. So the frequency and then also the range of it. So hopefully we get some boost now. We were playing around on the way here. We had some. It's a nice little fox buddy. But we'll have a couple qualifying runs here hopefully. And then after that, eliminations. We're in a stick shift class today, so it's probably just going to be a couple of runs, and then we're going to be done. So we only had about two pounds, three pounds of boost. It wouldn't ramp in any more than that. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but the yellow line is our boost, and we were, we peaked right on launch, but then it just keeps falling off. So I made some changes to my boost control solenoid. We're gonna try to see if that works. Well, we are done for the day. We got knocked out. The last pass was a 12-2. We just can't get... So, I have these little epiphanies where the boost control, I feel like, is working, and then all of a sudden, it's not working. The most we can get is five pounds of boost, and it's it's just not enough. And we also had some issues, issues where the car was pushing through the clutch. I'm not sure what was going on with that. And then the other issue was the line lock wasn't working. We... Yes. 
We had all kinds of fun issues today. So we got the boost control semi working. The most I can get is like five pounds. I command like a duty cycle or try it with a PID loop and nothing gives me more than that. So I don't know. Um, I don't really have enough time to fight this. So I'm thinking I might just throw the manual boost controller back on it tonight and uh, see what it does. For now, we're done. We fought it all day. We got three runs in. They were all 12s, 12 12-1, 12 12-1-2, 12 12 2 2 They were all pretty much the same. Here we go. I'll show you guys passes. We are P132. So we had a 12-3-1-0, 12-2-4-3, and a 12-2-2-7. And they're all about the same. You ready for race week yet? I'm always ready. Always re born ready, huh? Born ready. <laughs> Look at that airbag situation. Look at the ingenuitiveness. We were fighting boost control issues at the track all weekend, so I did some more testing. Couldn't get that stupid boost control solenoid to work. So I just got home and I put my manual boost controller in from last year. We're going to give this a rip and see what we find out. sitting here going through some of these data logs after <sighs> much needed relief from the frustration of dealing with that boost control solenoid. So we put the manual boost controller back on and boost instantly was there, which is what we were trying for. So really glad that that's at least figured out. I've got boost. We'll be able to run a hell of a lot faster than we were last time. And I'll, I don't know, I'll try to work on the boost control solenoid some other time, but for right now we've got boost we're getting more boost we'll be able to run faster and i was i don't know if you can see it on the video now but i was getting around like 15 pounds of like half throttle and that was way rich so really excited to see how much boost it's going to make ideally i'd like to run 20 to 25 pounds and see where that gets us so anyways i'm going to finish these logs i'm going to upload videos try to get something out and we are going to go back to the track wednesday so in a couple of days We'll be back out testing again. Drive fast, take chances. We'll see you Wednesday.